Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Emperor, the game where you're trying to find the love of your life and also save a city from a nuclear meltdown at the same time. So this is where we got to last time. We just came out the tunnel from that weird city place for the homeless that's all weird and weird. Uh, and there is all sorts going on in this house. I've been told there's lots of things that I could miss. So try and be a bit thorough with my searches, I think is the word. Uh, having a little look outside there, that's pretty flooded i think that's probably a photo yep uh, wow this really did flood so basically at the start of the game we inspected a dam and we we were sort of like oh, this looks pretty dangerous there's a big old crack in it and apparently whilst we've been inspecting other things in the city the dam did burst uh, and it's flooded a nuclear reactor and that's where we're heading to now our colleagues are heading via helicopter but we've decided to go on foot through the woods because it's quicker, apparently. Anyway, that is a tree that's collapsed onto the gate and we can't have a broken gate. So that is a photo. I feel like I've explored the grounds outside. So let's get back indoors. We're going to head up these stairs and I guess just start exploring. Oh, look, there's a key as well. So that was just a tape from Jeff Walter. He was like the business leader of a load of companies that were doing stuff i don't know the story's been going on so long i'm not really following anymore i just know that everyone's turning into mushrooms but uh basically he just said he sort of unraveled what was going on and he wanted to try and bring the company down expose the truth but he was trying to find evidence uh, oh what is that what is this it's like a weird octagon octagons aren't the best guns we'll leave it there anyway uh, our key just unlocked this room by the way oh look there's the octagon. Hang on, hang on. So we'll grab this. We'll shove it in there. Oh no, look. I need another one. I need another one. Okay, everyone, keep your eyes out for octagons. Oh, look, there's another key there for the villa. Anyway, I will turn on all these lamps because that's massively helpful, actually. Oh, look, another key for the villa again. Aha, I think that's the front door. This is probably the villa, isn't it? Oh, look, I found another octagon. So we'll grab that. We'll head back downstairs. Bonk it in there. <gasps> and now it's moving. Ooh, look, look. Money. Lots of... Holy crap, is that 400 grand? A bar of soap. Oh, wait, no, it's gold. Yeah, let's take a photo of that. And look, a list of SNW key operatives. I think SNW is something to do with the nuclear bunker. Not sure what polonium is. I'm guessing it's radioactive. Holy crap, they are terrifying. What the hell are those two faces? Anyway, I feel like this is a place where I should probably check, like, the bookshelves. Like a hidden switch or something. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just overthinking. Oh, hang on, hang on. What's that? Stolberg bunkers. <gasps> oh, more money. And a gun. That is a photo. Wow, what are the odds of that? Should I leave it open? Should I leave it closed? Probably leave it closed. Leave things how you left them. That's the saying, right, guys? <laughs> not leave them as you found them. Leave them as you left them. Right, anyway, let's try this building. There's a green lantern. That's never a good sign. That's like a sign of the mushroom people. Turn this lamp on and then we can read this note. I scouted out that nearby barn. There's a boat and some shaft <laughs> filled with water. I'm pretty sure that tunnel leads there. I wonder why they were digging it. I still haven't gone further in the main building than basement. You know the rumors. Okay, I think that means we got to go check the basement. Uh, we'll take a photo of that. And is that a hand wheel? I'm going to guess we're going to need that for something. So we'll take that with us. So what was in this room? Oh, what was that? Matches. Okay, just picked up the matches. There's also a pot. Now, in a previous episode, I used the pot to smash a window. So I'll leave that there for now. Could come in handy. Oh god, that poor duck. Uh, that is a photo, though. A bath full of mushrooms. Uh, anyway, what is out this way? Oh, ooh, the basement. So, oh, that is dynamite. That is a photo. We'll keep taking this with us. We're going to go into the basement. Oh, what do we have here? Look, we've got little valves we can turn. We've got this boiler looking thing. Oh, do you think that's where the hand wheel goes? Let's have a look. Does it? Oh, it does. It goes in there. Okay. And then we've got a very long tunnel. So, assuming this is a heater, is that going to send hot water down there? Or does it... Does it just pump? I don't know. Let's go see what's down this tunnel. There's rebar. What a surprise. I don't think that's actually poking out of concrete. I think that's just been left there. So that's not actually going to be a photo. But, um, ooh, yes, it's wet down there. Okay, perhaps we're pumping it. 
So the question is, how do we get this pump going? Now there's sort of, is that coal? Or what is that? Oh, it's wood. Oh, the wood goes in there. And I've got matches. Wasn't there like a stack of logs up here? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so we're just going to grab logs, take them down, shove them in this burner. Okay, I think that's probably enough. It doesn't It doesn't want this one. Get in. <laughs> yeah, so, do we light this? Ooh, ooh. Very nice. So, we've lit that. What do I think we do next? We can spin that. I'm trying to work out what everything would do. You've also got those two to spin. Yeah, let's spin this one first. So, that's turned all the weight. Yeah, then if we sort of follow this down along here, there's a pipe there. So, maybe we'll spin that one and that one. I've just turned them all now. All right, didn't seem to make any noise, so perhaps we need to do this in a different order. Oh, oh, look. I just closed that off and now it's boiling. Oh, I think then. Isn't this just sending hot water that way? I'm going to say, I didn't think it was a pump. It looked like a heater. Oh, maybe it is a pump because, look, the water's been pumped. Okay, so we've dropped down. I guess we're just going to follow this. So this was all underwater, I think, or at least blocked off. Oh, and we've got a loading screen. All right, we got to the end where there's a ladder, so we'll climb up here and we'll see where we are. All right, I think we're in a flooded garage. <laughs> there's a car very much underwater. Anyway, I assume asbestos, completely safe for everything, <laughs> is probably a photo. Yep. All right, oh, look, there's a there's a pulley crank thing. It will bloody hell. Oh, we've dropped the boat. All right, we're now officially in a boat. Uh, no idea what we actually do with it, though. I guess we can come over here, turn this lamp on. We can actually see what's going on now. Onto these stairs. Oh, look, there's a there's a motor, an outboard motor. Let's grab that. Can we literally just like shove that on the boat? Oh, <laughs> yep, yeah, there you go. Uh, but we are in. Let's turn the engine on. And we're in a boat. We're in a boat. <laughs> oh, wow. And they are high voltage cables. We probably shouldn't head over that way, even though I am sort of. Right, I'm feeling a little bit close to these cables right now. They're not even a photo. <laughs> Anyway, this place is a right maze. I'm getting well lost. But I think I'm nearly heading somewhere. Oh, helicopter. helicopter. Right, they've... <laughs> they just phoned me, flying in a helicopter randomly over a flood, seen a boat, somehow figured out it's me. And then my colleagues, they've said they'll, they'll meet me at the nuclear plant. So, okay. <laughs> anyway, the path is blocked, so that's a photo. This will turn around and try and go another way. I mean, honestly, I really would have liked a lift from my mates in the helicopter because I'm pretty lost right now. Okay, this looks promising. I think I'm going in the right direction, finally. Man, what a day today has been, hey? What started off as just a nice dam and bridge inspection has turned into me trying to find a nuclear plant, trying to stop it melting down, and most importantly, saving Doris's life. Right, there's a truck there. That's a photo. I don't know why some things are photos and some aren't. Like, the entire town is underwater. <laughs> why am I taking a photo of a single lorry? Oh, wow. We've got very flooded vans. Flooded bus stops. And then I assume in front of us, a flooded nuclear plant. Well, I'm glad we finally made it, at least, because it needs saving, apparently. Am I going into the building in a boat? Yep, I think I am. <laughs> Oh, look, there's a key there. Can I grab that key somehow? Oh, yes, I'm out the boat. I'm out the boat. All right, let's grab this key. Does it have a word on it? No, it's blank. Still, we can head into this building as well. Oh, I hear bad electricity. Oh, yeah, I see sparks in that. All right, talk of a new nuclear reactor coming. All right, well, that gate is locked. There's a generator there. I can't seem to do anything here, I don't think. Go have a look upstairs. Oh, we've just opened this room with our key, I think. Oh, look. So, hole in the floor, rebar and stuff. That's definitely a photo. Uh, but sparks coming from it. So I probably don't want to jump down until we can turn the generator off. So I guess we need to find a key, do we? Oh, no, I've just found this machine. Okay, so we can turn different things off. So floor one lights off. All right, now it's dark, but there's no electricity. So hopefully we can drop through that hole. Yep, here we go. No more sparks. Ow, my knees. So we got that, whatever that is. All right, I think that's everything. Let's get back in our boat. And I guess we'll just keep on going, like, this direction. All right, hang on. There's gates. We can't get through the gates. Oh, do I have to turn? I think I have to turn on one of those switches. Oh, poo. Oh, look, we got different gates. Let's just open all the gates. Let's turn everything back on. Sod it. Why not? 
Uh, now we've been detected on the scanner and the gates are opening. Nice. So we'll head on through. I guess we'll just head towards the light. Okay, no entry. That means we're going in. All right, what do we have around here? A loading screen. Chapter 10, Redemption. Okay, so we've just got out of that vehicle hangar and now we're literally in the nuclear plant. Yeah, I'm a bit overwhelmed. This place looks huge. I'm just going to go, I guess, to the main doors first. All right, so our boss just phoned us. He said they've arrived. It said it looks worse than they expected. Yeah, he said they reckon the water's got in the containment building. Yeah, he said they're going to go look for a manager because they can't literally find any staff here. They've all buggered off. Um, so he said, yeah, yeah, Matt, you, you, go, you go fix everything. Uh, we'll go find someone else that can do it. Oh, rebar. So the nuclear plant, even though it's new, it's still falling apart. That's not good. What is that? Basic. Is that a basic key card? We got a basic key card. Oh, look, there's the helicopter. So that's where they landed. Oh, I literally could have... Why didn't they wait for me? Oh, look, more dodgy rebar here. That is a photo. Now, when I get back to the office and I got to do this report, I'm going to have no idea where all this rebar is. I'm pretty sure I've got like 10 gigabytes of just close-up rebar photos. Anyway... Right. Floor two, we're in. All right, my boss just phoned and said he's now lost the colleagues he was with. <laughs> can I find them as well? All right, I just found my colleagues. You can see this dude here. He keeps looking at me. <laughs> he's on candid camera. I've been recording him because basically the woman he's with was just slagging me off. She was saying she's glad she's stuck in there with him. She's glad it's not Mark, who is me. Uh, and she called me an alcoholic as well. So, oh no, it's locked. I'll have to leave you guys in there. Well, let's just suck it up, guys. All we can try to do is have a positive attitude about it. We've unlocked this door. That's good. We can't get in there. Oh, that looks like something I want to play with. I guess we're going to find a key card that's like higher than basic so we can get into other rooms that we can't access right now. Uh, by the way, I just phoned my boss again. Uh, he found the manager. The manager said it's too late. We're all doomed, basically. Um, but if we want to risk our lives, there's one more thing we can try. And I've got to find the auxiliary power or something. So, security room. Obviously, I can't get in there with my basic pass. Oh, look, there's a key, though. For the roof. We have a key to the roof. You are here. We've got to get to the auxiliary generator room. So, we need to go right somewhere so we can get into the turbine hall. Unfortunately, straight ahead is locked. So, we're a bit screwed, basically. <laughs> oh, there's a door here. Oh, is this the roof door? This is the roof door. Up or down? I guess up. As we got a key to the roof. Ah, oh, this is the key. Okay, we're in. We are in. Oh god, that's underwater. And that is smoking over there. So that is a photo. I guess we'll sort of head along this way. This is quite sketch up here. Oh, there's a there's a burst pipe as well. There's a switch here. I can change it to auxiliary power. Do I want to do that yet? I think I, I probably need to turn on the auxiliary generator first. Which I think is over this way. Let's take a photo of that smoke. Take a photo of that steam. Right, I could jump down over there and go down there. Oh man, there's so there's quite a few options of what to do here. I, mean, I could also just jump down this bit. It's broken glass. That's a photo. Tell you what, do you reckon I could jump over to there? Because those pipes look like they'll support me. Oh, we did like a James Bond Mission Impossible thing. So we can go out here. There's another spiral staircase. Let me just check what's along this direction. Oh, lots of controls. Just what I like. Oh, there's a key. Turbine hall key. Oh, good thing I grabbed that first then. What is through here? Secu oh, we're back out here. Cool. Can I now get into security? Oh, I can. We're in. Let's grab the officer's key card. What the hell? There's a gun? Why is there a gun? Why is that not a photo? What if we head back? Do you reckon we can free our colleagues now? Not that I really want to after what they said about me. Oh, look, here we go. Hey, guys, I saved you. Go bother someone else. I just saved you. <laughs> Why are your eyes so weird? Ready? She's going to look at me. She's going to look at me. You can't ignore that I'm hit. Hello. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm that colleague that no one likes in this game. So why the hell did they light candles everywhere? That's a bit... Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm interrupting. Right. Yep, I'll leave you guys to that. Sorry for interrupting. I totally understand now. So it's not that they dislike me. It's just that I'm the third wheel. All right, so now can I head up this way? Will these doors be unlocked? Because I think this is the turbine hall, right? No. 
All right, well, let's head back this way where I smashed through the glass and let's try down these stairs. All right, there's a door here. Oh, this floor. Is that meant to be that? Oh, it is actually meant to be that color. That's hideous. It looks like baby diarrhea. Oh, look, this, this plug has come unplugged. Should I plug it in? I'm going to plug it in. There you go. There you go. Turned her on. Nice. We have power. I don't trust our boss. The fact they spelt trust without two S's, I'm quite worried about the competency of these engineers. Uh, basically, he said there aren't enough people maintaining the place, and he's a bit worried. So that is a photo. Ooh. Ceiling is being serviced. Do not operate the crane. And there's the crane key. Okay, I've got the crane key. So, back up spiral staircase. Back up. Oh, up. Where do these steps go? Oh, I'm guessing to the crane. i got to bring the crane over. I got it. Got it. So, back up here. I still... I don't want to do the auxiliary switch yet. I don't think. Maybe I do. I feel like I've got to go into the auxiliary room first, which I think is through that door. Yeah, we'll jump down here. I guess we'll go down this... I think, as there's a walkway there, I think I'm going to have to move the crane to get the walkway so I can get along there. Because that's broken. Well, it's being serviced, isn't it? So that's why that's hanging by the crane. So I need to just get to the crane controls. Oh, there they are. Okay, so I've just got to drop into that. So down here. Here we go. Here we go. We're in. Get the key in. Yeah, there's no power. There's no power. Oh, what's this? What's this? Front lights kept... Ah! Oh, blip all the fuses. And it, it did nothing. Oh, is that what auxiliary power's for? That's what auxiliary power's for, isn't it? So, auxiliary power on. Now we can get in the seat. Which means now we can move the arm. It's hard to tell how high everything is. I think that's good, though. So, after moving left slightly... Climbing along here for like the billionth time this episode. I mean, I'm surprised the nuclear reactor hasn't gone up already yet. Because <laughs> I have taken my time. My editor will confirm this. But now we can fit under here. Head down all of this again. And look, now we can make another Mission Impossible jump onto that. Yes. Let me just go under the cables. Jump over to here. And we're in the generator room. Ooh, generator -y. That's a lot of engine underwater. <laughs> uh, but we're going to leave it there. You're going to have to find out what happens next time. Because I'm going to say peace, love, and underwater generators. Bye, guys.